new present that arrived today, present to myself, of course. This is Juan's View uh, camera, which has a very special feature for anyone who wants to monitor your um, reptiles from a distance, and that is humidity and temperature. The camera itself detects humidity and temperature and reports it on the screen uh, as part of the video. So we're going to do a, an unboxing on this. I got it from Amazon today. The cost on this was the same, at least uh, when I bought it, as the Yi home cam. Um, and this, like, like the Yi that I have, is the 1080p uh, high def version as opposed to the 720. Um, so it was uh, $59 uh, from Amazon. And let's uh, see what we have. So we're going to open her up. And we have a little pouch here, which I guess will have the accessories. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, the manual. That's the manual right there. I got the white one. I'll explain why in a moment. And <clears throat> a disc which I don't think I will need because usually you don't need those for Macs. But if you're on a PC, you might. Okay. So here we go. Here's the camera. Now I will say my very first impression is that it is bigger, uh, larger form factor than the Yi home cam that I'm currently using in Athena's cage. So this is, a, this is I would say, almost double the size. Uh, thickness, bulk, etc. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. Now, the first the first thing I notice uh, when I look at this is well, I, I notice two things. One, this ball is a little loose, so I don't know if there's a way to tighten that. I'll have to to experiment with that uh, to see if I can make that a little less uh, give it a little less. Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't matter. You know what I mean. The other, the other thing I notice uh, when I look at this is this right here. It's actually got an Ethernet uh, plug. So it's Wi-Fi, but it also has the ability to be hardwired via Ethernet, which is always a good idea if you're able to do so. Okay. Here is the temperature sensor, which can be detached, I guess. I don't know if it's necessary in this situation. One of the big questions that I have about this camera, like I do of all such cameras, is how much heat does it generate? The Yi Cam is pretty good in this regard. It doesn't generate uh, a tremendous amount of heat. I've had other cameras that I've tried that uh, are definitely too hot to put in the enclosure. The Yi Cam is pretty good. Um, I have a couple of methods that I use for dissipating the little heat that it does produce. So, <clears throat> I see we have, you know, obviously we've got uh, the lens. This would be a speaker. I think it has the ability to talk back. So does the Yi Cam, by the way. Um, a lot of bulk. So I'm not sure what all the bulk is for. Maybe the, uh, we got something going on here on the back. I don't know if these are, if this is a speaker here, then I don't know what these are. So, Obviously, I got some other experimenting to do. Uh, let's see, we have the, what is this? SD card, micro SD card slot, which is essential for uh, storing the videos in case you lose connection. And the USB, micro USB on the bottom. So we're gonna just set this aside for now. There we go, set it right there. Uh, one of the reasons I got the white, I mentioned earlier about the temperature. You know, black absorbs heat and white doesn't. So my hope is that if this does have any sort of temperature that being a white case will uh, help dissipate that better than the black case. Here is the, let's see. Oh, it comes with a very thin ribbon ethernet cable, which I might use. I actually do have ethernet near the enclosure, so that might be a good thing. Uh, certificate of Conformity, Chinese government certificate of uh, conformity, of course. Um, 
this, like every camera I've, I've looked at, is made in China. They have uh, cloud-based services, and, and I think they route the video through a cloud-based service uh, before it gets to your phone, so keep that in mind. Um, you'll want to take that into account if you are very concerned about your privacy. Uh, looks like we've got some mounting screws and anchors. This thing has, I noticed, uh, two mounting holes for this base, so you could mount it on the wall or the side of your enclosure if it was made out of a material that you could drill into. We have the power supply. Let's see what this looks like. Because I was expecting a USB, and there's the micro USB. So uh, you could use any USB cable and plug it into any USB adapter, but it comes with a micro USB to wall adapter. Uh, and I guess this is um, interchangeable for different, different countries, and of course they include the United States plug for that. That is everything that's in the box. <clears throat> there is an app. Uh, QR codes for getting the links to the app. It's simply Wands View is the name of the app on the phone. Can't show you that because my phone is recording. I will include screenshots of the uh, screens once I have it all set up. So that's all for now. I'll have a full review in the next few days.